What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. This shit is not for kids. So today, ladies and gentlemen, we did have a new con slash toy show deal that was going on in the UK. I think it was Wrestling Shop Live or Wrestling Shop... It's like a con thing, stuff, whatever. Mattel was showing off some new WWE action figures. And we have some new basics, some new elites, and some new things to show you guys. It's not like a ton of stuff, you know. It's not like over-the-top, just freaking fantastic stuff. But uh, what we got looks pretty good. And I'm actually pretty excited to show it off to you guys. And it's going to be pretty epic sauce. So let's go ahead and dive right in, guys. It, it looks like it's going to be a pretty good day here. Let's go ahead and start off with the new Elite 2-pack of Samoan Joseph and Rey Mysterio with the Mysterio gear from WrestleMania 35. Now, this is something I will say, Brad. Um, that uh, that Rey Mysterio right there, it all looks fantastic. Both of these figures look great. I love both of them. I think the colors and everything. That Rey Mysterio, literally, if we get it before 2019 ends, I think it will be a very good top contender for WWE Elite Figure of the Year because just, I mean, just look at the deco. Look how like nice and shiny it is. It looks fantastic. One thing I will say, though, is that the match was absolutely buns. You know, it was a total squash. I think Rey Mysterio was was injured and they had to like just bum rush the match could have been a really you know strong matchup I think they made up for it I think you know uh, a little bit later however the Wrestlemania 35 match was was so bad it was like 30 seconds long Samoa Joe completely destroyed and dismantled Rey Mysterio so I guess he spent I don't know how much money he spent on that attire to get that made I'm sure he has like a deal with his with his attire maker because you know he's been wrestling so long I'm sure he gets really good deals on it but regardless this man spent a lot of money on this attire and he was wore it for like 35 seconds in the ring so that's pretty disappointing and we are getting a figure of it but I'm glad we are because look how badassery it looks it looks fantastic and I really like that figure with the gold and the green and the purple just a really sick Mysterio figure and then the Samoa Joe we've seen it multiple times I mean how many times have we seen an elite Samoa Joe in the red this will be our third elite Samoa Joe with the red and black trunks however this one does have a new head sculpt and it looks good from this angle you know we always think uh how can they do better than last time how can they do better than last Last time because the Elite 64 was fantastic, but it looks like they, you know, took it a step further, and this one even looks better, which is kind of insane that they could even make it better, but it looks really, really good. So these are the first two figures I wanted to show you guys. I figured they would be the most, you know, the most wanted to, you know, to, to be to be seen here. So let's go ahead and move on to the next few figures, guys. Moving on, we have the Elite Series 75 Pete Dunn. This is confirmed that it is Elite Series 75. Uh, I also want to point out that these images come to us from the N the NWF, D Freedom 30, and Clark Collector, and Bubble, Squ Bubble and Squeak Customs on Instagram. I want to give a shout out to all those guys if you want to check them out. But this Pete Dunn, I think we covered like two and a half three months ago um, it, that you know this was this was going to be Elite Series 75 and nobody had confirmed it but you know I, I apparently knew I don't know I, I said it was Elite Series 75 and here we are in the flesh it is Elite Series 75 so it looks really good I really am excited for this Pete Dunn I think it looks fantastic I love the head sculpt I love the attire that we're getting with this Pete Dunn I think it looks great the head sculpt's a little I don't know it's not perfect by any means but it does look good I do like it and I like the attire you know it's that black's not the greatest color however I'm just glad we get an updated Pete Dunn head sculpt, the longer hair and everything, and it will be great to see, you know, that little transition from the shorter hair Pete Dunn we got with the first Elite 64 to the Elite 75. So it's 11 series later that we get this, but this time it is in the main wave, you know, no collector's edition, no bullcrap or anything like that, so it is very nice to have Pete Dunn here, and he actually comes with the UK Championship this time instead of not coming with the UK Championship. So there is Pete Dunn, he looks fantastic, love Pete Dunn, so I am definitely going to be grabbing a couple of these. The next figure that we have, guys, is the Elite 74 Andrade Cien Almas. And there are a few things I have to say about this figure because, you know, it, it just kind of sucks because... Uh, they, they switched the torso. They switched the torso here. However, we do get the cloth jacket. The jacket looks really, really good. And I'm very glad we're getting the yellow and black attire because I remember when he wore this at Royal Rumble 2019 and I remember saying, God, I hope they make that in figure form. And well, Brad, here we are and it looks great. I'm really, really happy with the way this turned out. Again, I don't know why they gave him the Chavo Guerrero torso. I'm not sure exactly why they did that. I much preferred the Sin Cara torso they gave him last time on his NXT ringside exclusive slash target elite figure whatever you want to call it 
but uh, it, it looked way better, I think, with the Sin Cara torso. I think the only reason they switched it is because so many people had an issue with their torso being loose on their Andrade Elites. So I think they went ahead and switched that so that, you know, that they could, you know, get that problem fixed because everybody was, like, really upset about that. And mine did not have that problem, so I'm very blessed and fortunate that mine didn't have that problem however a lot of people were having that problem and you can see here he does come with his mask and the attire looks really really good again the jacket is i think where the money is made though i love that cloth jacket and again uh, uh if they can't make it you know cloth don't don't make it brad no no point in making it if you can't make it right the next figure we're taking a look at guys is the elite series 75 mandy rose figure and this one looks way better than her first figure i mean she's making this weird seductive like face um however uh this looks like 20 million times better than her first elite her, or her first basic i should say her first basic had like a freaking mountainous head like it's way too big it looks freaking ridiculous it kind of looks absurd like they did not it's kind of it kind of has that problem that the aj styles top talents had or the elite 66 where the head was too big they had to come in and shrink it the mustafa ali from elite series 69 had that problem they had to come in the next basic and fix it so hopefully or that hopefully they did fix it here they give it they gave us a brand new head sculpt and it looks way more like mandy rose so you love to see that double jointed knees the arms look good i like the attire that we got going on the gold boots and everything so mandy rose is uh looking pretty good here with the elite series 75 uh not only do we have elite series 75 pete dunn and elite 75 mandy rose but we also have elite series 75 hurricane yes that hurricane figure that we saw so long ago at san diego comic-con we are getting it here in elite series 75 so we do get a little flashback figure going on here with the uh ruthless aggression era hurricane figure looking very bomb i love the lime green t-shirt i think it looks good the head sculpt one thing i will say is i hate that this figure it kind of looks like he doesn't have a neck uh maybe they'll fix it a little bit before it gets released but um i don't know it, it, it's looking pretty good i can't tell exactly what's going on with the kick pad i think those are just regular kick pads hopefully they you would think that would just give him like the x-pac legs but i can't tell from this picture if that's x-pac legs or if that's seth rollins legs or what that is but it does look like they did give him the white outlines on his kick pads which is good and it looks like they gave him green shoes dark green shoes which is pretty good i would have preferred to have the white kick pads um you know the white kick pads with the green shoes over this look however it's not bad that's something that you could easily fix or do if you wanted to um but the figure looks pretty good i like the colors popping off and the head sculpt looks like uh, you know shane helms with the green and everything but again the head kind of looks kind of too big i'm not sure head looks a little bit too big and like it sits a little bit too low but it does look like hurricane helm so that's cool and another thing is his eyes aren't blacked out around the eyes i'm not sure if that's supposed to be blacked out or not if it's supposed to be blacked out i'll just go ahead and black it out myself it'll probably look a little bit better but nonetheless i'm just glad we're getting a hurricane elite officially it looks good it looks great looks terrific um so that is that is very fire right there the next elite guys is the uh, new elite rock that's coming out i think this is a part of the royal rumble wave that is coming out soon and you guys see there it's got the uh the older rock torso not the jacked one that i think he should have i think he should probably have the jacked torso because he was pretty big by then so i think that's something that they missed out on <laughs> almost vomited but this rock figure is is pretty standard i mean we've seen this pretty much a hundred times before in the past so I, I don't think it's worth really even you know taking a too closer look at but i did want to show you guys that before you know that we moved on in the video so he, you have a rock figure next up guys we have the gorilla monsoon figure and i can't remember i think this is going to be the new collector's edition for elite series 75 i could be wrong about that but i think that is going to be the case we're going to be getting the gorilla monsoon which will be walmart exclusive probably uh that's just something to you know mention and take note of of and you know write down if you guys are interested in the gorilla monsoon figure i know a lot of people were and it got canceled i think it was supposed to be part of a, like a battle pack and then they flipped it and they flopped it and now it's back as an elite here uh as a part of, of elite 75 so that is something that you want to take note of if you're interested in that the next few figures guys is some basic figures and you guys will see here we have one of my least favorite wrestlers in the world and he's borderline worse than lars sullivan it is worse than lars sullivan it is lars sullivan he's borderline worse than trash corbin it is is Lars Sullivan here and the head scan does look good I'm not gonna lie it does look like a good Lars Sullivan head sculpt but I am not a fan of him I, I I'll probably get this basic for the head sculpt just like Matt Riddle and Keith Lee um, I'll be definitely putting this on my elite figure and it'll look pretty good I think I think it'll fit perfectly and everything like that you can see in the background there that we do have some other basics we have our truth looking good love that head sculpt because we do not get I, I think a lot of people are gonna buy this basic because I don't think we're getting our elite our truth or updated elite our truth until at least series 78 so that is a little bit to wait there for you know an elite our truth so i think that a lot of people are going to buy this for the head sculpt put it on their elite our truths give us an updated our truth for a little bit until 
the Elite comes out, but you know, that looks good. And in the background there, you can see that new Ronda Rousey that looks pretty good from these pictures. I like this attire. I think this is the best Ronda Rousey attire they've released to this point. I think that's her WrestleMania attire, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's either that or her Royal Rumble attire. I can't remember exactly what she wore, though, but uh, the shoes look fantastic. The red shorts look good, so I do I do like that a lot. I think it looks really, really good. So the, the Ronda Rousey basic, the Lars Sullivan basic, the R-Truth basic all look pretty good. Next up, guys, we do have a couple more basics, I think, to round out the rest of the video, and it is this basic series 105 page. I don't think this is too, you know, nothing too crazy. I, I'd say track down the, the Target exclusive, you know, collector's edition page. I think that would be a lot better figure to have than this basic. However, you know, you may want it. I don't know. That That's up to you. You know, you make the decisions for your collection, but there is the new page basic. And then rounding out our video, guys, we have a look at the brand new Keith Lee basic that is dropping very soon, which looks really good. I think it looks strong and everything like that. We've seen this before, but I did want to get a... This is like a more uh, in-depth picture, more close-up, so I did want to show this off before we get out of here. But I think that is all we've seen. I mean, I don't think they're showing us anything else. If they show us anything else, I'll definitely be sure to show it off because I want to show you guys and, you know, get your feedback on it and show you guys everything and reacting to it. But uh, I think that is going to do it for all the figures. Again, if they post up anything else, I will most definitely post it up. I don't care if it's one or two pictures. I'll make a video out of it and let you guys know about it because I want to keep you guys up to date on all of the new action figures that are being shown off and everything by Mattel. But I think that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. We do have another uh, video coming today, so stay tuned for that. It will be posted either in the next like 30 minutes, 45 minutes. I don't know, but we are going to do a double upload today, so be on the lookout for that. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. My name is Toys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.